Shalom, brothers and sisters. The Sanhedrin calls on the Israeli government to reject the International Court of Justice. The Sanhedrin strongly urges the Israeli government to flee the court in The Hague as long as it exists. The Sanhedrin asks the Israeli government to end the farcical testimony before the court in The Hague. A. Morality should be based in the Torah as the people of Israel received from God at Mount Sinai and not from the court in The Hague. B. Everyone knows who the judges are. Countries that have violated many laws of honesty and justice towards their neighbors and their citizens. For example, China, Uganda, Somalia, Lebanon, Russia. The judges themselves will be judged for their hypocrisy and for practicing discrimination. C. The whole issue of resistance to genocide is an issue that Israel in most of its wisdom, presented to the world as our personal experience from World War II. Of course, this did not prevent other genocides from taking place. It is absurd that the claim has been made against the state of Israel. D. The war in Gaza is a response to October 7. How can it be that a court that claims to be justice discusses October 8 before October 7. E. The court has not yet called on Israel to stop the war. This would be a reward to the terrorist organization Hamas ISIS. Now that Israel has presented all its evidence, the show is over. The truth must be told. We have no trust, no connection, and no regard for this tribunal, nor its deliberations, nor its decisions. F. If the tribunal has so much extra time that it can bring spurious claims against Israel, perhaps they can deal with the Uyghurs in China, the Kurds in Turkey, the Yemenis among themselves, the Khuzestan province of Iran, and the chemical weapons used by Syria against its citizens. Insofar as the claims that Israel is carrying out genocide against the Arabs living in its borders, our country is composed of 20% Muslims. Apparently, they're doing well here. In conclusion, before the court unleashes all its anti-Semitism on us, the Israeli government must declare its non-recognition. Right, so that is from the Sanhedrin, written down and sent through to Israel's ruling government. I think they make some really good points. The interesting thing I want to point out prophetically for you as well is the Sanhedrin ceased to function directly after a very big landmark case they had back in the day, around 30 AD, when they had Jesus of Nazareth before them. And when they were done judging him in the earthquakes that occurred when he died, before he rose again, the Sanhedrin's building was partially destroyed. And the Sanhedrin disbanded, and they never stood again for 2,000 years. And now, at the end of days, Ha'akaron, the final generation, the Sanhedrin is back in action, back in place, and back in authority. And they're making rulings on current matters with regards to Israel. Coincidence? I think not. We are living on the very edge of everything. Pray for Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Shalom.